The Northern Territory election is shaping as a battle like no other. I think the Territory is ready for something different. It's been a difficult four years in office for Michael Gunner's Labor government. It came to power in a landslide after four years of chaos under the country Liberal Party. But this year, there's a new player in town. If you want a, a different result uh, and you keep doing the same thing with either Labor or the CLP, you're pretty silly. Terry Mills is the leader of the Territory Alliance Party. He's a former CLP Chief Minister, but he insists his new party is not Conservative. He counts among its members dumped Labor MLA Jeff Collins and Delia Laurie, a former Labor leader who is now the party's senior advisor. Mills is back on the campaign trail and he's set to have a major impact on the August election. Independent polling obtained by Sky News shows Territory Alliance is on track to win at least seven of the NT's 25 seats. That spells bad news for Labor. Even in a best case scenario, the ALP is still only predicted to win 12 seats, one short of the 13 needed to form a majority. For the country Liberal Party, the result could be even worse. The poll guarantees the CLP just two seats and a maximum of just five, even if all the cards fall their way. The CLP is absolutely committed to being the next government for Territorians. We are focused on the future. We need a strong government with a team of capable Territorians who are invested in growing the Territory. There is some good news for the Chief Minister. Many believed Michael Gunner could be at risk of losing his seat to Tracy Hayes, the high-profile former Cattlemen's Association boss. 59% of respondents say they favour Mr Gunner. His popularity no doubt buoyed by his handling of the coronavirus crisis. I think a lot of the decisions I've made along the journey have not been, or I, I certainly did not think they'd be popular. I, I made decisions that I thought were hard, were gut-wrenching, they saw people in employment queues. They're not the things that leaders want to do. And while that leadership has been widely praised, it might not be enough to see Labor hold on to power in August, especially if Territory Alliance and the CLP can strike a preference deal, although that might be a big if. Uh, we have always said that we will work with like-minded individuals, candidates uh, and political parties. Oh, it'll be a case-by-case -case basis. Our objective is to change the government. It's just over two months until Territorians will cast their votes and there's a real possibility that come 6pm on August the 22nd, no party will be able to form a majority. Then the games will really begin. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.